Most of us first heard about Devin George when he played for the Red Knights of Benilde St. Margaret's before he drew national attention at Augsburg. Devin made history in 1999. The first Division III basketball player selected in the first round went to the Lakers. He went on to play 11 seasons in the NBA, seven with Los Angeles, part of three NBA titles, a true success story. Welcome back to Wolves Live, presented by CenturyLink. So pleased to have Devin George join us tonight to talk about Kobe and a variety of things. How fortunate do you feel to have first been drafted by the Lakers and to have played with some of the great players uh, in the generation of the NBA? You know what? It kind of hit me after I was done playing how uh, fortunate I was and then like seeing uh, Kobe finishing up his last days and seeing what it really means to the NBA. And I'm just uh, blessed and glad that I was able to play with these players. So what was it like to be Kobe Bryant's teammate and what type of effect did he have on your game? It was it was huge. I mean, it, I learned from him every day from day one. And then at the beginning, every summer he was calling me, making sure I'm working on certain parts of my game, pushing me, always challenging me. When I got to training camp, he was always in my ear, always pushing me to do better, always trying to be better. And because um, he knew he had, to, he had to count on me at certain times. So yeah. it, was, uh, it was it was incredible. If you had to pick one trait that made Kobe Bryant stand out from others, what would that be? You know, it's, it's really weird, and people ask that all the time, is that he has this ability to put elements in his game overnight, where most guys like myself, we have to work on it at practice, we have to put it in a shoot-around, and then we'll bring it to the game. He'll work on it. I'll stay after practice for 20 minutes with him, and he'll work on some part that he wants to add into his game, and he's doing it the next night. And so that was one of the things that I really haven't seen for most people is be able to do that on a night end basically. What is it going to be like for you tonight to watch Kobe knowing it's his final game here in the Twin Cities? You know, last night we had a thing with the Laker organization. We kind of take the rookies out. When the rookies come to a hometown of a former Laker, we kind of take them out to eat and kind of get with them. And I was with some of those guys and they said, be, you know, warning you. They had to hold back some tears on some of the uh, standing ovations that he's gotten um, in, in the past and other cities of the warm reception that he's been getting. So um, I'm just going to hold my emotions in check because this is a special moment.